Welcome to the Smart Factory. So yes, uh, as we mentioned for our audience, uh, this will be in English. So it will be a very interesting uh, session here today. Uh, voor de Nederlandstalige uh, hebben we het al gezegd, uh, deze sessie zal in het Engels doorgaan. Um, pour les Français, pour les Francophones, ce sera une session en anglais. So without further ado, um, Welcome uh, Luc Peters uh, from um, Drukkerij Peters and um, for uh, everyone who shouldn't know uh, Drukkerij Peters is uh, as well a publisher as a printing uh, company. So they've been uh, in the business for a, for a long time already but I'll, I'll have Luc explain it uh, to you himself. And um, so, as I said, look, a warm welcome to you. And uh, well, we're looking forward, and so am I. I'm actually looking forward, as maybe some of the attendees today will know. Uh, in a former life, we were kind of colleagues, I wouldn't say competitors, but like friendly colleagues. And uh, so uh, we know each other from from long time ago. So yeah, without further ado, uh, look at the the stage is yours, and uh, I'll just maybe just start the uh, the presentation, and then uh, you can uh, you can have the word. Uh, so uh, up to you, look. Hello, uh, can you clearly understand me? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you for inviting me and to give uh, some more explanations what was happening at our company, what we did and how we still are working on it. Um, I have a presentation and I will start it right now. Can you see it clearly? Yeah. Oh. No. We have to restart again, so. Yeah, start. Okay, okay. that's it. So it's about the smart factory. Um, I, I will talk about uh, this afternoon. Um, I, I will introduce uh, in a short uh, movie the, the company, and then uh, a little bit of history of automation because uh, to understand the present, you have to look at the past to see what happened and, and how we came there and, and probably what will follow. Then the printing challenges we had at our company uh, uh, during the previous year and um, how we worked on it and still work on it. So that's a little bit of the presentation I'm going to make today. Um, I started in 94 in the company. Um, I studied engineering and I did a, a postgraduate in, in printing industry uh, at the Planté Institute in Antwerp. Um, um, and that's, that's a, a little bit of more my formation. Um, I start the movie now. Start video. It's about three minutes and uh, it will tell something about uh, our company. Mijn naam is Luc Peters. Ik ben medezaakvoerder samen met mijn broer van drukkerij uitgeverij Boekhandel Peters in Leuven. Wij zijn van in het begin een drukkerij uitgeverij en boekhandel geweest die zich vooral richten naar het wetenschappelijk publiek. In het begin waren we een typo drukkerij. We werkten met loodzetwerk. Mid jaren 70 hebben we de omschakeling gedaan van lood naar offset. Ook op dat moment hadden we dus nood aan fotozet. En het fotozet is verder uitgeroeid naar het digitaal zetwerk, DTP. Begin jaren 2000 kregen we meer en meer de vraag om kleinere oplagen te doen. We kregen ook de vraag naar veel meer titels. En op dat moment was het Offset procedé het enige dat onze kwaliteitsnorm bereikte. Vier, vijf jaar geleden hebben we de beslissing genomen van kijk, voor ons is offset eindig. We gaan moeten overschakelen omwille van de markt vraag van kleinere oplages, van meer titels, van makkelijker te kunnen bijdrukken, van vlugger kunnen inspelen op een aantal tendensen, moeten we naar digitaal drukwerk overgaan. 
Bij boeken, zeker van de productie, heb ik altijd van kleins af aan geleerd van mijn papa hoe dat een, een boek juist ineens zit, hoe dat een katerne juist moet zitten, uh, wat er moet gebeuren als je een boek open doet, dan moet dat mooi open blijven liggen. Uh, dus ik merk ook wel dat als ik boeken vastneem, het eerste wat ik doe is naar de rug kijken, uh, met mijn eens open slaan, zien of dat die, uh, goed, dat die vorm goed is, dat dat boek juist aanvoelt in de handen. Um, en uh, zeker in een veranderende industrie waar dat, uh, de kwaliteit misschien soms wat minder belangrijk wordt, proberen we dat toch nog wel altijd um, echt bovenaan te zetten. En merk ik ook in mijn eigen handelen dat ik het heel belangrijk vind dat als ik een boek verkoop of als ik een boek laat zien aan een auteur of aan een in een congres, dat ik ook weet dat is een, een degelijk boek dat gaat niet uh, binnen een week, gaan daar geen blaren uitvallen, binnen, een, binnen 10 jaar, 20 jaar, 30 jaar, 100 jaar hopelijk kunnen mensen nog altijd die boeken gebruiken als naslagwerken. En dat is toch voor ons nog altijd heel belangrijk. We hebben die digitalisatie, dus de omschakeling van de drukkerij, in twee stappen gedaan. We hebben eerst een, een kleine lijn geïnstalleerd. Vervolgens hebben we een grotere, snellere lijn geïnstalleerd. Op dat moment, toen we aan die tweede stap bezig waren, is Xaicom in, in beeld gekomen. Waar waren we naar op zoek? Niet als de snelheid is het belangrijkste, maar wel de kwaliteit. Dat was belangrijk. Dus we hebben een aantal spelers gebenchmarkt en we hebben gezien dat Prijs, kwaliteit, serviceniveau, Xycom, voor onze applicatie zeer goed uitkomt. We willen een kwalitatief goed boek met een kwalitatief goede inhoud op een kwalitatief goede manier bij de mensen brengen. Ja. Yeah. Your mic, don't forget the mic, Luc. Okay, <laughs> indeed. Um, I'm going back to the slides. Yeah. Start presentation. Start here. So um, uh, now I, I will tell you a little bit of history of automation, um, how how it uh, uh, came to uh, what we are, what why we are, at what stage we are now. Um, there, were, there were three big steps. The first big step was the beginning of the 90s. Uh, we had some large databases. Um, they were uh, structured on, on a local level. They were not integrated in, in, in a whole uh, network. Of, of uh, The best example we can give is when you bought at that time a, a, a ticket for an airplane, they you gave you, they gave you a voucher um uh, they knew at the database where you were going to but it was not connected to anything else uh, in the best case you could call your travel agent and he could probably sometimes see how how your uh, ticket was how your uh, uh, flight was going and so on but it, there was no interaction with all the, the databases uh, according to frank Roman, romano um, uh, and and who am i uh, uh, to, to tell that is not right. Uh, so uh, in the beginning, we had the, the bird in the 90s, beginning in 91, we had the bird of the World Wide Web. In, third, in 93, we had uh, the PDF that came out. In 94, uh, uh, the web browser Netscape. Uh, 95, also Yahoo. And in 95, there was also the American uh, Paper Redux uh, Reduction Act that was amended. Uh, and it was made much more easy to put some large content and some large information on the internet and uh, companies and, and government wasn't uh, uh, obliged to to print it any longer and from that year on uh, we, we see more and more that data coming online and i have uh, 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 two um, uh, um, uh, images um, uh, uh, charts and there you can clearly see that in the beginning uh, there was almost nothing on the internet no users at all and from 95, it started really to grow faster and faster. And now it's even uh, higher than, than uh, 80%. So uh, there are some figures that it's higher than 90%. And, and we see Europe and North America and, and also uh, 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 some parts of Asia are coming all together at, at the same level. Uh, it's about 90% now. Uh, but when we see at the same time the the amount of, of uh, users on the internet it was going up the the employment uh, in 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 the, the business in the printing industry was going down from 19 uh, from the beginning of the 90s it, it was a little bit stable and then it it came 
all the way down. So uh, you see the newspaper industry, they were very affected by, by the internet because it's, it's short messages. Uh, uh, when you print a, 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 a newspaper, uh, most of the people have already read about it. So on the morning, it's old news for them. So they are really uh, a, a lot affected. Also, journals were affected. You see uh, a slide, but not so huge as, as on the newspapers. And this line, this, this red line, is, is the book printing line. And that's, for, for my business, a very interesting line, because we see there is a very slight, there is a decline, but it's a very slight decline. And um, I always wonder why there is this small decline, because we see, and, and everyone in, in the field, uh, knows about it. There is uh, the print runs are 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 going uh, down very quickly. So in in the nineties we we had uh, print runs from seven hundred to to three thousand. Uh, now we have print runs from from ten to to two hundred. So uh, uh, the print runs are dropping, but the the paper the the, the the employment rate is 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 still the the almost the same. And this, this is due because there are uh, much more titles now. Um, uh, because of the, the price, it's very cheap to, to produce a book. Uh, it's very easy to produce a book. And, and people are making more titles than, than, than there used to be uh, at, at a certain time. So this is the, the, the first step. And then uh, beginning of the, the, of the year 2000, there was the, the, the second step. Uh, the, the amount of data was, was multiplied by 10 at least. And also in the in the graphic industry, we had some attempts to to uh, make uh, to unify to to uh, make connections with the machines. In the beginning, we had the SIP tree, uh, which is uh, pre press, press and post press integration. It it quickly after it became SIP four, the processes integration also so pre press, press post press and process integration, um, and which ended up in in the GDF as we know it now and GMF as, as a feedback to the MIS system. And also uh, lately, uh, but that's more in, in uh, 2015 and so, uh, th they created XGDF and XGDF is in fact um, um, a slide. It, it's, it's, they want to make it much easier to integrate machines with each other. So they, they uh, made XGDF. And the first time I was confronted with, with GDF and, and SIP4 and, and all those things, it was at Drupal 2004. It was um, the first time that uh, they introduced it. Uh, there was a, a hall about uh, GDF. And at that time, uh, when I was at, at the Drupal fair, uh, I, I could cry because uh, I didn't, I wasn't aware of what was happening. I, I didn't understand it neither. And when I went to some, uh, some booths and, and some, uh, People on 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 the on the the trade show, and I asked, "What's it all about?" Uh, most people weren't able to to tell me clearly what was happening and how it will work, and 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 uh, and uh, how they think it should be integrated because it it was a very theoretically uh, 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 business because there, there in fact there was uh, apart from uh, uh, pre-press and press integration because there was all, already a very at a very early stage, there was a link between the, the ink settings on, on the press. And so that, that was very quick, but all the rest was, was not yet ready. And it was the first time I could cry because I didn't understand what was happening. And the second time I, I could cry then was at the moment, at the moment I understood what was happening. Uh, the, 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 the idea, the whole idea was to, to integrate all machines and to let them talk uh, uh, to each other. And when I came back at, uh, at, at, at our office, I noticed that our MIS system wasn't ready. Uh, they, they didn't knew about GDF. Our presses weren't ready. Our post press, our pre press was nearly ready. So <clears throat> at that time, I, I, I was afraid because I, I thought that it, it would be go fast. It would, the integration of, of all those machines uh, would go fast. And, and, and I knew I, I wasn't ready at that time as a, as, as a printing office. So it was quite anxious uh, at that time. And the third big step, that's uh, from the beginning of 2010 until now, 
uh, we we see that the, the 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 amount of data is is even multiplied by more than thousand, and it, it rises every day on, on a spectacular base. And um, nowadays we, we we don't want to have uh, uh, databases uh, storages on databases. No, we want to use the data, the information immediately. And the best uh, uh, thing I can give you is when you are on on the road and you you you. Um, uh, do a, a traffic search by Google Maps. Um, it, it tells you immediately that's the best way. That, that's the the option. There are a few options. And when you go ahead, in and, and it's a long drive uh, and a traffic jam occurs somewhere, immediately, immediately, you are giving data back to Google. Google receives them and tells you immediately back. Oh, there is a traffic jam. Uh, this is a better option. If you, you you can choose, you can do whatever you want, but this is a better option. And then you, you're losing, instead of one hour or a half an hour, you're losing only 10 minutes. That's immediately use of, of the of the data. And that's something we, we also need to have in, in, in the printing office. Uh, um, now Nowadays, still, um, although uh, it's, it's very automated here, but um, sometimes it arrives um, on Friday, uh, uh, the paper uh, uh, supply um, uh, called me, and it was uh, was an error. And the paper is not not on will be not on time on Monday. It, it will be only arrive tomorrow. So what I I have to do now, I have to to put it in and, and to see. Okay, we have to change this, to shuffle uh, a job because uh, the paper is not there. Instead of that, the, 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 he, in, instead of calling me, he, he can immediately uh, uh, put it on my on my uh, data system. And and my data system has to su suggest me, what do you want? Do you want to, to postpone the job or, or do you want to put it on another machine or do you want to use another paper because it's it's an urgent job? And it those all those things still take quite a lot of time. And um, when we see all the, the, the companies who are able to do, um, to give you at a very uh, quick uh, uh, speed, uh, some more information um, are are the winners on 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 on, on the uh, stock exchange uh, when you see Google, Apple, um, Facebook, and uh, they become even bigger than the most oil companies. Uh, Ten years ago, a few years, ago, still a few years ago, uh, the, the oil companies were the, 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 the on, on the stock exchange, the most valuable companies. Uh, now we see more and more. The Googles and the and, and the, the Facebooks. It's the the Gafa economics, uh, like, like they they call it. And then, um, uh, so we are now in in the, in the third step, and we are now at at, at the the industry 4.0. So in the industry 1.0, um, we had some. Um, um, uh, major inventions like like uh, uh, the first um, um, uh, the rotary printing press, but it was steam powered. Um, it was not easy to work with. It was it was very slow, but it already started in 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 two point uh, The best thing is uh, to see it like the, the Ford T, the assembling lines. Um, electricity uh, uh, came into the in, into the market more and more. Um, uh, machines were um, uh, electronic, uh, uh, not computers uh, driven, but electronic, uh, uh, automated, uh, mechanically connected each other with each other. With, with each other. Um, in 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 the sixty, uh, the the seventy, beginning of the seventies, and and later on. Um, it was the, the the rise and and the and the further development of, of plate and offset printing, um, uh, computer aided pre press started more and more. Um, the, the printing process I mentioned are manically and electronically linked. Start of DTP. Um, the, the computer makes its entry in into the into the printing office in into the most uh, pr uh, uh, work uh, uh, shops, but in the printing office. It, it, it went very quickly, um, and then we are now at at the four point zero, and and there we see clearly that everything is is connected with 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 each other, 
And you see here the, the ERP system. Uh, for us, it's mostly a, an MIS system, um, but it's, it's theoretically the same. Uh, and you see that there is an interaction with the machines and, and with mobile devices. Uh, so you can see on your phone, uh, I can also see on my phone uh, where it, everything is going well and, and where there is a mistake and, and, and the machine gives me feedback from um, this is going wrong. Do you want to continue? Or, or I, I can do it on, on my on my my iPhone. And 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 uh, at a certain uh, uh, at, at in, in the beginning we had a, a two shift. Uh, we started at six o'clock in the morning and we ended at ten o'clock. We we now uh, reduce it and we we start at six in the morning and and end at six o'clock. But the machines continue to to print, um, and that's. Uh, sometimes they 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 print the all night long, and and when people are coming back in at the, at the, the office, it it just stopped. Or or, or uh, and <clears throat> at the meantime, uh, the machine is controlling the processes. Um, and it, when it, if there is going something wrong, uh, or the machine stops, or it 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 gives a message to us uh, from uh, can I continue or or uh, do I have to stop? So mm -hmm. that's. That's more and more industry 4.0. Yeah, yeah. So that's also look uh, something that we previously this morning discussed also in the in the in the session uh, that we were uh, giving the intros on the industry 4.0. So as you said and as you also mentioned here uh, with the 4.0, it's the cyber physical systems with the sensors and all of the. The, the, the high tech uh, elements that are now built in the new technology yeah. uh, just in order like you just explained that you get like uh, a lot of information which is interconnected now uh, but as you say also if your uh, supplier your paper supplier is late or uh, the ink or the toner or whatever uh, isn't on time or is out of stock or whatever then you get like uh, kind of uh, uh, a pre um well in time you you are uh, um, you get messages in time that uh, these actions will probably change the course of your, your production so but maybe getting in diving into a bit a bit more into detail of your printing uh, your printing environment your print uh, facility so for, for Peters uh, in the printing industry, because as I well, as you told, you're coming from a completely offset, uh, offset-based uh, production environment, and you totally made the shift uh, when you got all the uh, this information. You got and you saw the light that uh, offset for your business anyway was ending was uh, was not more going to be any relevant. So, and in the industry 4.0, with all the interconnectivity, the, the digital technology taking over. Uh, so, can you give us some more details on, on the specifics that you decided to change within your company uh, to create a full digital uh, production yeah. uh, uh, unit? And, and how maybe you uh, connect with, uh, with the other partners uh, yeah. In order to have your uh, your completely workflow uh, working for every day on a semi or even automated uh, way, so maybe can you dive into the printing challenges that you get yeah, you guys yeah. have? So uh, in my next slide, I guess the, we are on the challenges. So what we uh, encountered more and more was um, the the runs drop, print runs were dropping. Um, our our uh, customers they didn't want to have uh, stocks uh, uh, any longer or, or they reduced it quite uh, enormously we had to do to deal with more and more uh, more frequent reprints with sometimes some adjustments or, or without adjustments but but uh, more and more reprints the sales prices are under pressure because uh, the, the the print volume is going down uh, printers are are making sometimes strange prices to to fill their machines. Uh, we were encountered also with those problems. Uh, also, the multi-channel communication, um, um, uh, not only in in printed but also online uh, in, in other ways of, of communication. Uh, we had constantly changing production requirements. Um, uh, the 
was was which uh, was cause of, of many mistakes and 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 and, and errors in the, in the company or uh, things we had to to redo um, finding uh, trained uh, specialized uh, people was was a very difficult uh, thing for us um, uh, the evolution of the machines was was so so quick uh, um, uh, and and, and on, even on, on software and hardware, we, we had to do. We, we didn't know what to sh what to do or how to follow, who to follow. Uh, it was a very um, uh, difficult period, and our response to 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 all those things, um, uh, we had to reduce the startup cost um, uh, because uh, uh, print runs dropped dramatically. Um, um, and and if you have to uh, if you're on, on an offset process, uh, process and i'm not against the the offset process uh, that's that's not the the goal of this this session um uh, and i i will tell you later on uh, you have to see um on on your processes you have to buy uh, machines um, uh, um according to the process you are you are doing the 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 product you are making and when we see that that uh, uh, print runs uh, drop dramatically, uh, and we have to to re to reprint or to to have short runs, and we do it on an offset uh, system, you have a, a startup cost that that's quite huge. Uh, you have to also. Um, Material loss because uh, setting up the the, the uh, an offset printing press, although uh, the machines are 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 better and and and, and with SIP4 integration or GDF integration, uh, you have already the ink settings and so. But but nevertheless, it, it's it's a quite enormous uh, thing to set up a, a print, uh, an offset printing press. Um, also, um, uh, when you 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 Print on, on a traditional way. You have to make off, offset plates. Um, although the system is very automatic and 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 it comes out automatic. You put in some uh, blank plates and they come printed and on, on the right uh, chariot. And but you have to put them on the machine anyway. You have to take them away from the machine. Um, mistakes happen sometimes over at at that point. Um, scratches on the, on the plates. It it. It, it's it's inevitable. So you you have anyway. You have at a certain moment you, you will have all those things. Um, uh, try to avo avoid errors. Um, when I, I I'm at at the print shop and and I see that there is all uh, about 100 people working, um, and they have an, an error rate of one percent, which is very low. That means that in that company. Every day there is a mistake. At least every day there is one mistake. Um, in in our company there there is uh, uh, 30, 30 uh, people uh, working, and at the uh, error rate of one percent, uh, human uh, errors. Uh, we had at almost every four days we had something that went wrong, uh, something very s small or, or or even very something very big. Uh, uh, luckily, not not always, but but it arrived that that something arrived with a customer and was not not right or or, or wrong or with wrong procedure. Uh, those things you have to try to avoid because it, it you're losing quite a lot of, a lot of money. Um, uh, you have also uh, what we also did is a, a web shop integration because more and more uh, we see that. Uh, uh, People uh, are are um, uh, asking for uh, prices of very very quick. They want they want price quotation. Uh, they want to to change things on on, on all those things. Uh, we were confronted with that uh, um, more and more, um, uh, and and also connect uh, because we have a, a, a few big. Uh, uh, customers um, and uh, nowadays uh, they send us an email uh, with a question and we have to respond with an email uh, we have to put some uh, price quotations in our MIS system um, 
it should be uh, normal because they also have an ERP system that they, they can immediately have a, a price quotation from, from my MIS system. Uh, they don't have to pass by, by uh, uh, some, some uh, man for, for uh, only if there is, uh, if he needs advice, but f for most of the time, they know what they're working on. They, so when they agree with the price, they, they have to send me back an email. Um, uh, for, we, are, we agree, and here, please, the PDF files, or, or you have to do the pre-press work. Here are the Word, fi Word, fi Word files. Uh, start the job, and, and, and on and off uh, with, with some emails and, and, and sending of PDFs, uh, uploading. And, um, and they have an MIS system, uh, an ERP system, where they have already uploaded their uh, uh, PDF files or the Word, Word files, um, they have all the data. They they know ab about uh, the, the paper they want to use, uh, the 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 size of the the book. So it's it's kind of strange that that uh, and we are working on it. That's that's one of the the the, the last issues in, in in our automation that they can have right away from my MIS system the the price quotation. They can change. Oh, I I want a bulk paper or I want a, a coded paper. Uh, what what influence has it on my price? Um, of course, if they need something special, they, they always will uh, have to call. But but we try to 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 avoid that 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 we are uh, integrating uh, our MIS system with their ERP system. And so, look, can I can I just cut in for a second? Is, yes, of uh, course. Is is that like? Um like a custom-made solution just for you? Because you told me earlier also uh, that, uh, you know... Unfortunately, all, all the, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately it's a custom-made, yes. That's, that's, um, and that's, that's one of the advantages of, of GDF. At, at least they try to make a, a base where you can work on, where you can do it. For most MIS systems and most... ERP systems uh, connecting with the outside is, is very difficult. Uh, when you see it with, with your, your suppliers, paper suppliers, um, they have all online databases. You can search in their databases, but having it on the fly on your MIS system, their data, it's, it's very difficult. It's, it's, it's hard to get. Yeah, so, so as you said, we need the real time, the real time connection, yep. the real time, uh, let's say, data that you can use within your systems that's coming from the yeah. your, your partners. And would you say that at this day today within your company, do you already have this in place or, or is this still a work in progress? Um, from our customer side, uh, for, for customers, fr from we are working on, on that part because it's very important. And uh, you make also, uh, 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 you make your, um, unreplaceable if you do it as, as a as a print shop uh, because when they are used to have very immediate response um, they are not eager to go to another printer to to have some problems they don't know about but um, from our suppliers uh, we, we are, are uh, asking them some more and immediate up-to-date information but it's 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 hard to get it's 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 really hard to get so at, at this stage, it's not my main concern, but uh, I, I want at, at, the, at the end uh, that I can say to, to a supplier, listen, I don't work with you if you can't give me up-to-date, immediate uh, information in, in my MI system. So I don't have to receive a call from you telling me, I'm sorry, paper will be late, only one day, if you are in a very tight and a very automated process, one day is is, is quite a huge uh, time. Yes, so it has a big impact on on your uh, automation, doesn't it? Of course. Yeah. So so um, and and I I want in in, in fact and and uh, uh, like in a, a Google Map system that tells me, listen, there is a problem because one of the suppliers isn't able to give you. I can provide you. I can you can print it on that machine with that type of paper or that size, or or it's up to you to cho to to make a a choice. But 
I want it immediately. Uh, yeah. I, I want on, not on the Friday uh, at, at at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I, I want my system telling me, "Oh, there's a problem. The paper will be late," and that's what I suggest. That, that's the my dream. But yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, it's not plug and play then. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not plug and play. That's uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Although they tried to do it with uh, the, the Ghent work, uh, workflow group yeah. and so, but but it's not plug and play. I'm sorry uh, if mm -hmm. there are some attendees who hope to hear that's plug and play. No, I didn't forget uh, Drupal 2004 where, where I had to cry because I didn't understand what was happening. It's still so. Uh, you have really to, to go into the, 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 the stuff to, to get out of what do I want, how do I want it. Uh, from whom and fr from mm. it's it's not plug and play. I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. But maybe on that note, maybe on that note, look, because you would tell me early earlier as well that you made a specific choice that coming from an offset printer and yeah. letting go of all that that technology that we used to know, yeah, that we were that we were all good at, good at, and, uh, and that you had to decide on the new technology. But you said to me, uh, I didn't make my decisions. Uh, on the basis of the machine, you no. did it on the basis of your the process that you needed, and then you went from there. Can you just give us like because we're on the at, at the ending of our our session? Oh. But I think this is very important that you yeah, yeah. that you stressed that you didn't choose a machine. Yeah, you yeah. you went looking for one in order to do yeah. uh, to do it what you wanted it to, uh, to achieve, right? Yeah, of course. So in the middle, you see it's not plug and play and, 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 and be aware of it. And how we started, we, we, we split up our company in what products are we making? You know, what, and how do we do it? And, and we, we were doing books and we, we were doing um, uh, stitched uh, folders and we are doing, and what's the main, uh, the amount of the biggest job we had? Oh, it was soon books, the better book. Uh, okay, that's our main process. There we're going to start the, the, the automation because it's it's the, the, the all the rest we, we leave it that way. We don't even think about it because you can't start at once with all the processes of of a company. You have to to start with one and go ahead with it because for, for us we we, we were uh, sewing books, very small uh, print runs, as, as I already told you. So we arrived with. For example, with Mechanotechnica, they they had a solution for us. No one else on the market had that same solution. So we we, we worked with with them, and and from there on, okay, that's your machine. What do we need in just before we go to your machine? Oh, we need a printer, and with with those specifications, okay. And what do we? To, to supply the printer. Okay, we have our MIS system, uh, we need GDF file, we, we need a, a PDF file with some extra data on it. Uh, we have a, an imposition system we need because uh, the, 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 the PDF is already imposed with on all pages the, the necessary. Uh, so then we, we talk to our uh, MIS system integrator. Where are we, are we going to, to produce the, the, the imposition? Because you can do imposition on printers. You can do imposition on, on, on a workflow system. You can sometimes do it on an MIS system. So it's, it's very important. You have to split up because, um, and there we choose to do the MIS on, on our, uh, the, the imposition on our MIS system for some reasons. Um, now we change, we, we also are already doing um, uh, automated uh, uh, bro uh, stitch brochures. Um, there we, we use the imposition system of, of the printer because they have their own standards, very good. You don't have to look further to an imposition system. So it, it, it works very well, but you have to split up every process and every product and start with the first product, the most important product and, and, and start over there. And, and you don't, you don't have to buy, um, uh, like, Many printers still do. We buy a very huge press, a very fast one, a very quick change over time. And then we start building around our press, the, the, our, 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 uh, our, book, our, our printing shop. No, we, we, we start, what do we need? We need, we need a, a serum book in a very slow, in a very low print run. 
okay, what items are available? How can we integrate them? Because at that time, not everything, because we started the process six years ago, of, you know, five years ago. At that time, not every machine was GDF compliant. Uh, on the meantime, it is com uh, GDF compliant, but they had the advantage of having uh, barcodes. That's the reason why, for example, we added the barcodes um, on our, uh, why we did the imposition on our uh, MIS system, because we had to add barcodes. We had to add added value uh, on, on the MIS system. They were, they, 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 were, they knew how, we, how it worked. So that's the reason why it's, it's not, um, and, and, um, when you ask me, uh, can you implement it in another company? Yes, I can. But that, that company probably doesn't make the same products. What I'm telling here is not how, which machines I use. What I'm trying to tell is, please look at your process, split it up, look what is on the market, and see how you can connect it the most easiest and quickest way. That, that's, that's the most important uh, yeah. message. I think that's very interesting because on the back end of that, knowing that you're coming from the soon, you know, the luxury soon books, uh, that was uh, also one of the, the most important parts in, the, in your production process that you had to link. So that, uh, that's where my kind of technica came in as well. But it's, it's incredible to, to hear from you that you completely got rid of, of the, the off, offset uh, uh, printing presses because you had, you had big presses, all of the, the yeah. very expensive uh, tools and, and, and machines, mm -hmm. and you completely changed over to a full digital. Uh, and in what lapse of time did you realize this? Is, is that something that you did like over six years time or, or did, you, did it speed, no, no. speed up? No, so uh, we started um, um, with uh, um, uh, the offline uh, uh, machines um, um, with uh, the buying an, uh, a Mechanotechnica at, at the first moment. Uh, it was Drup, uh, the, the past Drupal was 2016, I guess. The, the machine entered at that time, the, our company. So we did the study just before, so a little bit five years ago. And uh, it came in, and and uh, a year later we put on uh, on a, 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 the binding and and a, a trimmer, uh, but also an automated trimmer, uh, also barcode driven. Um, and at that time we still had our Komori eight colors, uh, and and the printers who, who were working on the machine were looking at at the the, the printers that were Konica Minolta's, rather small machines, and they were a little bit laughing with with. What are they doing? Well, what a strange! Huh? They, they are they are stupid to to invest so many money in 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 boy oh, and and in and in the beginning, I, I have to admit, it, it was hard. The first two months, we didn't produce any book that was worth seeing. It uh, really it was it was disgusting. But six months later. The printers with their with their uh, um, loops are went to, to to go to the printing to the the, the new machine and oh, wow it's, it it looks good it looks great and and oh, wow the books are nice and and, and so on and and uh, now uh, there were a few printers uh, um, uh, they left the company because they they were aware uh, uh, for, okay this is what's happening here it's it's going all the way. And we don't because, have a future as an as a offset printer. Yeah, yeah, and and so uh, they 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 left the company and and it speeded up our our process because at that time we were lack of printers, uh, people on on the presses, so we had to invest to go much faster, and that's why we end, ended up with uh, uh, last year we we introduced a uh, uh, web uh, uh, press, Xicon. Um, uh, and we also uh, bought a, a second uh, uh, Mechanotechnica from web to, to uh, and the horizon line and so everything GDF driven and we throw everything out of the company. So no Koni, no uh, Müller Martini, no longer, uh, no uh, Koni, uh, uh, um, uh, presses, uh, um, Komori presses, eight colors and Oh, so I'm so relieved. No, no plates, 
no <laughs> it, it's and 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 our our um, uh, the the amount of of errors we have now it's 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 reduced by almost none uh, it's mm -hmm. because of everything is on on so automated um uh, we we had a, a young guy uh, we hired a young guy um, uh, 20 years old and because of the way of automation it's at that moment it's plug and play for them because they are held by so it's they have to swipe and they have to to take on, on on things they they don't have to to go into the machine and, and see what's going on uh, 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 after six months he was working completely and and you know what it was when you had someone who entered the company with no experience to have him uh, after a while making nice books nice cutted books it was quite a complex process but now it's it's so much easier that's a fantastic uh, story but you're talking about nice books so yeah. that brings us to your website because it's the name of your website as well so uh, yeah i yeah, guess yeah. that's not a coincidence then no 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 it's 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 hey, the, the, the web the name of the website is a uh, nice books dot digital so it, it, it tells everything it's on a digital way we make nice books most of the time people uh, and 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 uh, huge printers they, they tell me oh you cannot make nice books on on on, on uh, printers yes i can make very nice books on printers uh, at a very good price and and that's there we arrived at our smart smart factory because what is a smart factory it's a small factory what we are that can make unique products what we do with a high degree of automation what we also do at a very low cost and so we come uh, we came at at our uh, uh, nicebooks.digital and i hope uh, it works well because it, that's a little bit of tricky uh do you see me now? Do you see the website? Yeah, yeah. So see it. maybe uh, put it on uh, wide screen. So the wide wide screen that fills the screen completely. Okay. Something like that you want. Yeah, that's better. So you yeah, see here. That's it. Uh, you see clearly um, the. Um, the the teams you are working around doctorates thesis books brochures and and journals and books um and when we go to a, a, a doctorate you see immediately a, a, a price quotation you can make let's say 150 uh, number of pages uh, a4 format you see here a4 format uh, white bullet paper and uh, let's say uh, 50 copies and i want also to add a, an isbn number because it's very important for my library or I don't know what, and you see immediately the price, the price quotation, um, and then you can uh, go on continue. Uh, uh, you have to you have to add your email address, and then you can uh, select a, a, a file. Of, uh, We can see all your company secrets now. Okay. But no, 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 just problem. kidding. It's no problem. It's no problem. Uh, no, Printers have a good look. <laughs> yeah. They can, here you see, we can upload this. And immediately, uh, I, I prepared it already. Um, we can go to a, a, a site. You see, it's uh, new, it's uploading now, um, but I already did it before, and I've done the same, this 150 pages, uh, 50 uh, copies, ESBN check, and immediately a, a process uh, starts to run to see, is it okay? Uh, is the, 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 the format right? Uh, is the, the number of pages? And uh, people get immediately uh, uh, after a few moments, they get a, they get a warning. For example, um, you see there is a problem with with the resolutions uh, of of the the images. We already do some modifications, and we see, for example, it's not uh, 150 pages, but pages verwerkt uh, is 200 pages. So it gives me uh, an immediate error. 
uh, on my on my line, you see here, there's an error because I entered 200, 150 pages and and he controlled it. It's 200 pages, so I can do it up. Uh, so he's, again. he's doing pre flattening in real yeah. time as you upload it. Yeah, yeah. and and already uh, adjusting some uh, issues for our uh, uh, print shop when when they do agree uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, the result, then then. Um, so there are a few steps here. It was a warning about. Uh, um, oh yeah. yeah that, that, so so when so when everyone who wants to go onto the the nice books digital, they can actually print their own book yeah. by uh, so print run one or or more than one. Yeah. Of course. And then, as you said, because that I think is very important as well. For that type of market, uh, they can choose a, a soon book, right? Yeah, no, yep. we got, yeah, that's it. So they can choose a, a soon book, which has like a standard high end quality. Yeah. Uh, and that is, I think, something of your uh, unique selling uh, proposition, yep. USPs that you have at Peters, yeah. that you're, in my mind, you're one of the only ones at this time that integrates all of this new technology that you are in fact now uh, yeah. a smart print shop and hopefully yeah. your vendors your partners will become smarter and try to Let's hook hope. up to hook up uh, so and in that case i mean the, the client at the end of the chain he will have his personalized product yeah. uh, which didn't exist because we talked about this morning it doesn't exist at the moment when he was ordering it so he uploads his his files and then at the end he gets like a, a quality book uh, for the price of mass production yeah but in mass personalization so yeah. that is something which is awesome and that's something that you guys at, uh, at Peters can facilitate so yeah uh, I applaud you and uh, I think you're one of the the first uh, in the world who have been able to yeah, I think so. I think you're one of the first that have been able high to... Quality, high quality book. Yeah, 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 the high quality soon book and yeah. then the integration anyway. of all this technically. Uh, so it's, it's it's awesome to see that it's a Belgian company. Yeah. And, uh, that is, that's real, I think. So well done. Thank yeah. you for this. I am. Great, uh, before, you say, before you say too much goodbye, I have a question because I've been listening okay. to this very interesting presentation. Thank you very much, Luke. Um, one of the things that I was a little bit curious about is uh, you said that you had uh, some uh, considerations where you wanted the position to be. Um, I take that since you have both web-based and, uh, and sheet-based uh, printing now, uh, what kind of uh, considerations, because you, you, you were a little fast when you take the decision to do it in the MIS system, because I've been in some printing companies in the US, uh, especially I have one in, in, in mind that that actually made the, the decision to have the last minute in position. So basically they had like eight HP 12,000 uh, um, sheet fat printers and they basically wanted the operator to make the decision on what job they could take when they were ready to optimize also the workforce of it. So why did you choose the, the MIS system as your solution? Um, because of the, the, the barcodes to add on. Um, uh, there are a, a few items. When you have soon books, the imposition is, is quite a little bit tricky. That's one. There are, uh, and, and those things, I, I keep them for myself because it's, it's, it's like the Coca-Cola. The imposition... <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The secret, but... recipe, the secret recipe. That's okay. I like that. <laughs> but... but um, to make the imposition, uh, you have there are a, a, a few things you have to take in, into account, and 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 one thing I can I, I can give you uh, uh, when you have a, a book of uh, with a, uh, 32 pages and and it ends on on four, you have to edit the previous one uh, 32 for 32. Yeah. That we changed. That we changed because there is something tricky on it. So you have also to change the, the barcodes on, on that because otherwise you don't have any control of it. Um, um, and, and the barcodes are also translated. Uh, I, I can show you another time how it looks like, but the barcode is also translated. So the operator can read 
which page we are and, and where it's in the book, because otherwise they are so shuffled, uh, you know, don't know how it works. And when I looked at the Xycon and at the uh, Konica, they weren't able to do the imposition on, on, on that specific. On the machines. Yeah. 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 And um, what we tell now to for the, the stitch brochures, uh, for example, uh, we, we sent a GDF with all the details in it. And on the machine, on the, on the KM, it's a, a, a 12,000 we have. On the machine, immediately, it transforms it in 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 its imposition. So it's in, in so the operator, in fact, doesn't decide how it, the book will be made. It's the it's the system, and once again to avoid mistakes because when an operator has to intervene, the chance of mistakes, and most of the time none, but one of one hundred there is a mistake, small mistake, and to avoid that. We we do it that way. So, but but there are on 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 specific work on on Apogee workflow. You can also do an MIS system and and, and, and impositions. And so, but it depends on the pro. That's the main thing I I I want to tell you. Don't look at my solution. Look at your own solution and and yeah, see yeah, what's course, yeah, yeah. what's best for for yeah. your system. That's the yeah. most important. And I could and I. Question: I was also curious about because I love books, so uh, yeah. I have a passion for books and uh, and especially the the section soon books. Uh, and I, I actually made uh, a short interview with uh, Stefano Formentini from Meccano Technica at the uh, last Hungler Innovation Day. So uh, yeah. I have seen the machines in action, and they are pretty uh, pretty great. Um, one question I was uh, wondering because uh, obviously you want to take advantage of the equipment to the maximum. What what is the challenges when you look at different formats in relation to grain direction, for example? What do you mean? Because I mean, if you have, let's say that you have uh, uh, based on the on the width of your second press, and I was just thinking that to optimize the format the maximum, if you have small formats, you could you could impose it in a way where you get wrong grain direction on the on the on the uh, on the on the uh, signatures. Is that something where the we kind of technically can also turn the, the book so you the sue them in the right direction or how, how is that managed? No, they can't. They can't. So you, you have to to, to to print it uh, in the right direction, and and at yeah. that that point you have to change paper size on, on your press. You can, oh, okay, you so can, you, so you do that on the okay, so you yeah. do that on the press based on the grain direction and format, basically. Yeah, yeah. You can't, I think you can't like, do. Yeah, I what? think also that's that's one of the main reasons why especially in the academic or uh, in, in, in the book publishing uh, department where, where you are in mostly, that you have, let's say at the moment still, uh, some standard book sizes, right? So that, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. that you predict, yeah. uh, and also in, in your line of work, that's the, that's the book size that's, that's mainly uh, asked for, isn't it? Yeah, mm. but, but we work quite a lot for French publishers, and in the French publishing world, they have much more... Uh, sizes so uh, and, and that's something typically french they they i don't know why I like but, that but well, it's because it's french right i mean it's, it's funny and, and it's yeah. great so they have uh, uh, i'll have to tell Jacques, eve about it jack probably knows but the, the french ones they have some different sizes and and there we we uh, when we go on the on the on the sheet fat line um, uh, we have standard paper sizes and 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 then in worst case, we cut off a little bit more. Yeah, so yeah. It's so that cheaper. is just part of the calculation, basically. Yeah, right? it's yeah. cheaper to cut off a little bit of paper, especially for fifty or one hundred print runs. It's it's sure. easy, it's cheaper to, to cut off some paper. When we go to the, the cycle line, there it's a little bit different because uh, mostly the, the the print runs are higher, and and if you have to cut off too much, and then then we will. But that's one of the reasons why we have two lines because uh, of, of the, the sheet fed is it's much more flexible uh, to paper uh, type of paper or uh, uh, you have a book with uh, half uh, uh, bullet paper and half coated paper you can't do it on on a on a on a web print uh, so if you want to make nice books and that's what we really want to do. Uh, because I, I believe that if a book w wants to survive, it will be it will have to be a nice book. Otherwise, 
you can do it on on your iPad or, or, or on, on if it's a rubbish book it will dis that will disappear but nice books that you 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 want to keep as 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 a treasure that's what we want to make and and that's why we have a, a sheet fat line where we have all variations um, special papers uh, which you can buy on 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 on, on roll uh, you can do all, all almost have always on, on, on the, the, the sheet fed or otherwise. So. A final question for me, because I know that we are over time, but unfortunately we don't have more sessions. So is it okay to ask one, one more question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, you have uh, chosen toner based technology for your production. Yeah. So uh, any considerations in that area? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, it's, it's, um, um, it's a, um, a quality issue. Uh, speed is not for us an issue. So, um, if speed was an issue, I definitely went for for inkjet because they are much more faster. But uh, because uh, uh, I prefer that the, the the machines run an all all night long without anyone around there, then uh, choosing for a, a, a process uh, which is much more expensive, uh, very highly, uh, very difficult to control, uh, especially for paper, p types of paper you want to use, because uh, I don't want to make any concession on, on, on the paper that, that we use. When you are on inkjet, you have to do some concessions about it. And, 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 and when you go very fast, also there, the quality is going more and more down. So. That's a consideration we've made, but it's toner based. It's it's not the cheapest way of making books, but it's it's quality based for the moment. And I don't tell what what will be the future, but for the moment, it's 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 the best thing, I guess. For Thank my you. Topic. That was all for me. But that's great. Yeah. I I hope to see you in person one in, in yeah. soon because I'm really interested to see your books. So uh, that could be fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So maybe a last question of my part, to look. Um, so as you as you said, it's it's uh, quite a, a recent uh, investment that you that you made in the new technology. Um, maybe interesting as well for some some colleagues watching or uh, people that are thinking of maybe of also investing in in that, this type of technology to well, to get a bit more smarter with the factory themselves. Uh, in in what time frame? Is, because you were referring to the fact that um, at the moment this is technology at hand, but it's evolving rapidly. Uh, maybe inkjet will come down in price, maybe go up in uh, in quality. Uh, we've heard some rumors in the markets as well, but we'll be we'll be uh, giving some some info on that later on uh, during the year. But uh, what in, in what time frame? Because the the traditional offset presses and stuff, you know, the the right of time uh, or the, the economic viability of, of of those types of installations. Uh, do you think that this digital? Because that was always a little bit of a fear of colleagues, uh, probably one of yours as well. Uh, how long will this technology last until the next one comes along and makes mine? less efficient too expensive uh, or less smart so that's my final question i know it's a difficult one uh, but i think it's an interesting one to to give insights to people who have to make these decisions money wise yeah, yeah. so we, we have a, a a depreciation time of five years on, on the printing machines so which is very short and i guess on the digital ones that's on the it, digital yeah, right. machine yeah on the digital machines which is and in the offset beforehand, seven ten, to ten? Ten years. Ten. We did it on ten double. years. Double. Yeah. So yeah, we, we it's double. Um, but the degree of automation you can do on, on digital machines is much more much higher than on, on, on uh, uh, offset presses. At, at certain time, someone has to interv intervene uh, at an offset press. In in the digital press, it's it's very Based so so we we 
we win uh, back some money on 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 lesser people. We uh, I reduced my my on on the pre press, on the post press, and on, on the press. Uh, I uh, where I have now one person. I, I used to have four men for the same job. So I uh, that's so where you, you I, got uh, you got a bit of cash uh, behind I, your hand in. In, in optimizing, let's say, the, yeah. the staff, the staff, and then the yeah, knowledge yeah, yeah. probably is different yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess f five years, um, uh, my previous Koine uh, Caminolta, uh, I, I had it just four years and a half, and, and, and then it's, it's totally over. Yeah. It's over. But for a, we, I have also a black and white, uh, 2000, 250. Um, it's, it's still running. So. I guess I, I will have there six years, probably because there's nothing new on the on the market now. But the Konica, the KM, uh, it's now the the two thousand, the twelve thousand, and the forty thousand that came just came out. So I replace it immediately. Uh, the the model in between was not such an, uh, a huge uh, update. Mm -hmm. um, the same for uh, the, the cycle machine. Uh, they have now, uh, uh, this one is a 20 uh, uh, meters per minute. They now updated it to a 30 meters per minute. Um, yeah. But that was uh, what you explained as well, that in your line of business, the speed, the sheer speed of, of output is not that important. Well, it no. is important for everyone, but uh, 20 meters is, is largely enough for yeah. your production. I, I prefer Because 20. you can run all day, right, at night? Yeah. Yeah, I prefer 20 meters at the same speed um, all night long uh, instead of uh, 70 meters and you have to be there and, 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 and to change your role every three hours or two hours. So, yeah. but it depends on the it depends on on the kind of work you are doing. So, I, I I'm not promoting a Xi compress or I'm not promoting a KM. I'm promoting the idea of you buy the machine you need. You don't buy a, a printing press because it's a nice, famous printing uh, company uh, which uh, 20,000 cheats per hour. Uh, no, you buy what you need for your process. That's the most important. And if it's an, an Heidelberg, buy it. And if it's a, a Xicon, do it. But uh, what happened too much in the previous time, they, they bought a press and then they start to build everything around it, and that's wrong. That's mm -hmm. that's. Look, uh, look. You may not be uh, marketing uh, any specific machines, but you're definitely marketing your company in a good way. Okay. So uh, I hope uh, <laughs> I'm sure you will be successful with, or you are successful with it, because I think the quality approach and and the high value proposition is definitely something that, in my opinion, this industry needs. So I think that uh, I think that was really good uh, opinions from your side. Okay. Thank you. Right, look, so I guess uh, for the moment being, uh, all is said. Uh, I thought it was fantastically interesting. And I'm sure we will uh, we will uh, get in touch again on uh, some new evolutions that will yeah. pop up at uh, Peter's as well. And, and, and uh, on any trade shows, if they still are going to some yeah, trade shows. Yeah, if, if we're allowed, if we're allowed. And otherwise, we'll, we'll try to be of service. Yeah. Uh, okay. But anyway, uh, look, thank you so much. Yeah, and thanks. Uh, I think we can uh, say goodbye or goodbyes for uh, today, Morton. Yeah. yeah, I just popped in because I was curious about the questions I asked Luke and I got answers, so I can't complain. Uh, what I can say is I think it's been a wonderful day. I can see there is uh, York from um, uh, Heidelberg has actually uh, commented on this session, says that it's a very interesting session. So I totally agree. And it's great that uh, that at least some people like what we're doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I just uh, wanted to say uh, to to the audience I left, and basically, uh, as we also spoke about this morning, uh, Shaq, we have a, another day tomorrow with exciting uh, content. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunities to discuss and, and learn from each other. And it's great to have so many people interesting in participating in this one so uh thank you luke thank you shock uh thank you everybody who's participated and uh remember tomorrow at 10 uh if you want to learn a little bit about how to use web to print not as www's but as apis um uh, i am the one that is going to take you through some examples of how to make uh, 
free books and uh, free photo books and uh, free print and uh, how to utilize uh, APIs in uh, in your printing business. How many do you even think of using APIs to promote your own business? So uh, a lot of uh, hopefully interesting things tomorrow. And uh, also tomorrow we have uh, we have uh, uh, Dr. Skipson from uh, Infico Software going to talk about uh, the impact of uh, virtual print in relation to a uh, smart factory. And after the breakout sessions tomorrow, we have uh, Tim Webster together with three customers using uh, uh, Siteflow from HP uh, to exchange data between printing companies. Uh, really interesting sessions tomorrow. So uh, I hope everybody will join tomorrow. So uh, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, have a wonderful afternoon. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Luke, again. Bye. Yep. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.